Chevy van. As money-making commercial vehicles, Chevy vans are sensible and practical purchases. They include the features needed to speed up deliveries, make maneuvering and loading in close quarters easy and fast, saving time, and helping increase operating profit. Chevy van, the first domestic utility van to offer a sliding side door, requiring only four and a half inches of opening clearance, still standard equipment. The standard sliding side door on the Chevy van enables the driver to park close to the loading dock and helps make cargo loading an efficient, cost-saving operation. Other vans with swinging side doors have to be parked further out from the dock, which may cause the loading operation to take more time and effort. And in a commercial operation, time is money. Chevy van sliding side door with its weather seal triple track mounting also contributes to job efficiency. By letting Chevy van pull in fast, pull in close in cramped traffic arteries to get the job done in a hurry. The standard swinging side doors on this competitive van need extra space, can block traffic, slow up work, and can cost money. And Chevy van's rear doors, with the aid of a simple latch mechanism, open flat to the rear of the van body allowing Chevy van to pull up within inches of almost any loading platform for sure, easy transfer of loads. Rear doors on this make do not open flat with the rear of the van and cannot get as close to the dock. Loading can be difficult and time consuming. Let's compare the size of Chevy van's rear door opening with the other van. Here we have a sheet of building material that fits the rear entrance of a Chevy van. To make it fit the rear entrance of the first van, we have to break off five inches from the side and an inch and a half from the top. Even the trimmed piece won't fit in the second van because the opening tapers inward at the top. Another five inches must be removed from this square piece of material. Now we put the same piece of building material back in the Chevy van. Look at the difference in rear opening size. Because of that, we can slide 10 packages of standard four by eight building material into the back of the Chevy van and still have room for more. In this van, Four by eight foot packages of building material must be slanted for loading. With 10 packages in, it's impossible to load another. The slant load is usable space. Chevy van gives its owner up to 296 cubic feet of loading space and up to 141.5 inches of clear, unobstructed cargo length between the engine and the rear doors. Special Chevy van conversions are also available to increase height and cubic capacity. This raised roof conversion, designed for dry cleaners, offers six feet, two inches of interior height and increases capacity by 90 cubic feet. And the versatile Chevy van can be outfitted with a wide variety of factory installed racks and bins, including this general delivery and appliance service package. This typical package for plumbing, heating, and air conditioning businesses. And this installation, with a handy workbench placed over a large storage bin, suitable for electric and gas appliance repair operations. All can be factory installed on the Chevy van. In all cases, regardless of application or cargo, Chevy van's tough two-stage rear leaf springs adjust automatically to changes in load. As load weight increases, so does spring stiffness. Power plus economy is important to a van owner. Chevrolet offers the biggest standard six-cylinder engine for vans and a big 350 cubic inch V8 available for 10 series and standard on V8 20 and 30 series models. And the engine compartment is readily accessible through the large front hood opening of the Chevy van, which allows easy, fast service checks. Compared to this van, that oil dipstick is 51 and a half inches long for six-cylinder engines. 47 inches long on V8s, and a slight kink or bend can distort the oil level reading. 
Checking the battery fluid level is easy in this Chevy van. Awkward in this van, because you can't see into the battery. Such awkward locations of service items can cause drivers and attendants to delay or ignore important service checks. Minutes saved in service checking mount up fast, especially in fleet operations, where many vehicles must be checked every day. Chevrolet's massive girder beam front suspension, shown here on a Chevy pickup, is used on Chevy vans with basically the same tough components, featuring coiled springs and wide stamps, giving Chevy van a stable ride for protection of vehicle and cargo, and contributing to excellent handling characteristics. At the same time, it helps absorb road shock. Chevy Van's below eye line mirror, which can be ordered, gives wide rearward view, and its low mounting lets the driver see over it during cornering. The dotted outline shows clearly where the rear view mirror is mounted on the first competitive make. Brakes are important too. Chevy Van is the only domestic van that offers front disc brakes as standard equipment. Power assist is standard on 20 and 30 series. Disc brakes are resistant to the effects of heat buildup and water. This excerpt from a Chevrolet television commercial shows the water resistant characteristics of front disc brakes on a Chevy pickup. In this demonstration, 175 gallons of water a minute high pressure thoroughly drench Chevrolet's front disc brakes. Now, the heavily loaded Chevrolet pickup is sent down a canyon road with its brakes still being soaked. 40 miles an hour, 50, 60, hit the brakes. A smooth, straight stop for the ninth straight time. Front disc brakes that are resistant to the effects of heat and water are standard on Chevy vans. Front drum brakes are standard on the other two vans. A wide choice in additional equipment is available to tailor the Chevy van including Chevrolet's turbo hydromatic, variable ratio power steering, and Chevrolet engineered Harrison built air conditioning with its high level air distribution system. Chevy van, the durable van, is protected from corrosive elements by Chevrolet's exclusive Elpo electro coating process applied to the entire Chevy van body as well as the underbody. All these features and many more add up to the fact that Chevrolet trucks are built totally tough to last long, which they do. This 16-year-old Chevy truck is still working. In fact, percentages of Chevrolet trucks still working show that over 55% of 1956 model Chevrolet trucks are still on the job, based on R.L. Polk official industry statistics. No other make has even half. And percentages for later years prove Chevrolet trucks last long. This fact and others have led many recreational vehicle makers to choose Chevrolet vans for camper conversions. These are two of many different makes and types based on the Chevy van chassis. Chevy van, for pleasure, for business. To help deliver more inflation beating value for the truck dollar. Chevy van, totally tough, built strong to last long.